I like the fact that you says like you know you will hate this character. And it's like I just was like okay, she's annoying as hell and stupid. And then it's like big plot twist moment. And it's like oh for fuck's sake, are you really that stupid? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Running, running, running. Ow, 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 ow. I'm amazed I've not died yet. Famous last words. Oh, thank Christ. Visual contact re established with pilot. Commencing supporting fire. Danger close. Stop telling me what you're gonna do and just do it, BT. <laughs> right, BT, open up, we're getting out. Like it. <laughs> Could probably handle it now, but I don't fancy staying and fighting them. Our orders are to resume special operation two one seven. But it also seems to be a thing like people trying to make their um characters. It's one of the things I kinda like especially in the book that um Dr. Martin kinda toys with the whole like idea like beauty equals good. Yeah. Because like say take for the top of say the Lannister's probably the better. Yeah, there seems to be like a general rule, like the prettier the Lannister is, the more awful they are. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. because it's like, they're you so pretty, everyone tends to think so. Oh. And that's why you're dead. <laughs> well, well. Yeah. Now they run away here. With an SRS Vanguard class type. Well, now we're talking. <laughs> Bring it. Let's get this party started, scrub. Like, Cersei is regarded as one of the most beautiful women in the country, but she's awful. Like, <laughs> like, so yeah, like, so it's like a like, 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 <laughs> Joffrey's probably a sociopath. Well, probably sociopath makes a psychopath. Yeah, I'd say he's a psychopath. He's not really a sociopath. A sociopath just doesn't tend to care, whereas Joffrey actually actively takes delight in what he does. Yeah. So, yeah, it's like. Yeah, Joffrey's definitely a psychopath. And the book seems regarded as being very handsome, so it's like the prettier the Lannister is, the worse they are. <laughs> and like, even Jamie is really a very awful, it's until he kind of loses the other one. He kind of gets a slightly better person. <laughs> that seems to be like a rule of the characters, like, really pretty, it's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> it seems to be not effective. Yeah, it seems to be as a, it used to be um I think as a, like older like a character usually you'd be sort of shorthand. If a character was pretty then I think it was good. Like I think Twilight for fuck's sake. We're supposed to buy that because all the characters are supposed to be really beautiful, they're good people. And then they know they're very much not. Yeah. <laughs> so that'd be exactly like they're freaking all the Oh that boss fights over. That was fast. <laughs> Kane's helmet radio is still intact. We should retrieve it. Hello. <laughs> Just gonna nick your stuff. Well, he's dead, so why not? Rule of conquest. You kill it, you take it. I think we'll probably get another chapter before we call it a day. Mm. has a strong history in warfare. This will work to our advantage. In order I, to survive, we're probably not we going to play this game, in, game again soon because mm -hmm. we're planning doing other ones first. But there's a bit near the end of this mm -hmm. where you know that the guy Blisk, mm -hmm. he's in charge of the mercenary company. Spoiler: you never fight him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? You fight every other one of his lieutenants, but never him. <laughs> and there's a bit at the end of the game where you've killed like, his top lieutenant, his right hand woman, and then you go down there. Oh, he's like he show he gets in front of you like your mech's like lying on its back. He shows up and pretty much just goes, "Don't worry, I'm not here to fight you. I don't work for free." <laughs> and then just crouches down on top of your mech. Goes, you killed a lot of my men. 
think you've earned this, and puts down his business card on top of your mech and walks off. <laughs> Pointing out to the guy who's yelling at him to kill you, hey, you didn't pay me to do it. What are we doing here, BT? We must proceed to this facility and continue to the rock. Which I thought was kind of neat. <laughs> But we were mentioning the sort of rule of beauty or whatever it was. Yeah, like beauty equals place? good. Yeah. But, um, like, Unknown. Twilight probably plays it there. Because we're supposed to think because the characters are supposedly insanely beautiful, they can do no wrong. Yeah. Like, the author would have us genuinely believe that, even though we know they're all horrible people. <laughs> yeah, they're all yeah. completely god awful people. Yeah. But they offer one say, no, no, they're so beautiful, that means they're good. And it's like, no, they're not at all. You idiots. <laughs> Yeah, they're not. And like, obviously, Game of Thrones it seems to be a rule. If the character is really beautiful, they're probably evil. <laughs> probably the one exception to that would be Marjorie, I think. Yeah, it's funny because in the books, we don't really because she's not like a point of view character. We don't get a lot of like what her and her thoughts are, obviously. Yeah. So she does like she tries to like befriend Sansa and stuff. Although once Sansa's sort of supposedly married off, then she kind of distance herself from her. We can't tell if that's just because she's lost interest or if because she kind of has to for also political reasons. The show plays it a bit more where she's it's kind of like a tie, like she does genuinely want to help Sansa and also she also does stop lying to the political benefits of being her friend but she also is just trying to be kind to her. Yeah. There seems to be like a thing with the Tyrells, like they'll be, they're actually, they're, they're nice people, but they also, they know when to kind of... They know when your usefulness is run out. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't mean they're gonna like kill you or anything, but, and especially in the um, show, Marjorie, even after Sansa kind of stops being useful politically, Marjorie still tries to be nice to her. <laughs> Just because <laughs> she thinks yeah. she gives to use someone to be nice to her. <laughs> but, um, Oh yeah, you need to be careful here, because you can get hit by these things, oh. and if you get hit by them into a wall, you die. Mm. Nice. It's kind of how um, Sansa kind of looks at things in the first oh, yeah. Watch things. this. Crunch! <laughs> you actually get like that crunch, and I just love that. Sorry. Sorry. But like in the first book, a thing with Sansa, like every time she meets a new person, or a night at King's Landing, she always like if the person is attractive, that means they must be a good person. Because in her mind, especially Joffrey, because he's like a good looking prince, he must be like the prince of a fairy tale, he just must be. There's, she's, there's In her mind, there's no way he couldn't be a good person. That and he does do a semi good job of pretending when they first meet. Mm. And same with Cersei, she's such a beautiful queen, but she must be a good person. She, in her mind, there's no way they can't be, because that's how it is in fairy tales, and then it isn't until you know, the end when shit goes wrong. And then she says, oh god, I was massively wrong. 